So in the previous video, we introduced the idea of linear modeling using linear functions to model growth or decay of data. I want to do some more examples of that in slightly different contexts. These other examples will go through a little bit quicker than the first example because we we're kind of explaining everything. And honestly speaking, the most important part of a story problem is setting it up correctly. Um, if you feel like if you can set up a story problem correctly, most of the algebra will probably be fairly straightforward. In this example, we have a particular city dump which has a maximum capacity of 20,000 tons of garbage. It currently is holding 8,000 tons of garbage, and each month the garbage collectors bring in 120 tons of garbage into the dump. So if this current growth rate, which is constant, remains constant, at which point will our city dump reach its capacity, right? Uh, so we have to kind of know this so that we know we have to build a new dump or expand the current dump, right? The, we have sort of a time limit before, you know, street gar garbage just starts piling up in the street here. So we want to come up with a linear function, right? So our, if we're adding 120 pounds, 120 tons of garbage per month, right? This is a constant growth. This is a constant growth. And when you have constant growth, that means this is in fact linear growth. We can model our data using linear functions. So our function is going to look something like f of x equals mx plus b. And as a little bit of an aside, I typically will set x equals 0 to be the current, the current time. So where we are right now. So that means we are currently at 8,000. And so that's actually going to give us our y-intercept. Our y-intercept is currently 8,000. When x equals 0, we're at 8,000. x will be a measurement of time. Uh, and so we talk about months. Right, and so we should be measuring X here. We should be measuring, this is some time measurement in months. X will measure how many months have elapsed from the current moment. All right, so now we have the y-intercept. We actually have to find the slope of this thing. Uh, and the slope is actually given to us, right? We're adding a constant rate of 120 uh, tons of garbage per month. And so that gives us our slope value. M equals 120 tons per month. Ideally, the unit you use to measure the x should be the denominator of your slope, which is a rate, tons per month. That way, if you take tons per month and you times it by months, that will give you tons of garbage, uh, you know, literally and figuratively there, right? And so then our, our function would look like f of x is going to equal 120x plus 8,000. This gives us the model. This is the model. This is the toy we can now use to make predictions. If the capacity is 20,000, so we then set this equal to 20,000. F of X is equal to 20,000. We want to solve for X. So we get 120X plus 8,000. And then we proceed to solve this equation. Subtract 8,000 from both sides. We see that 120X is going to equal 12,000. And then divide both sides by 120. We're going to get that X equals 100. X equals 100 here. So this means that in 100 months, in 100 months, the, the we expect the, our dump to be reaching capacity or very close to it. So again, this is just an estimate, right? Uh, we can't expect perfect 120 tons each month, but this is an estimate, right? So then we would answer this in something like the following. So we, uh, we predict, we predict, that in approximately approximately eight years, four months, which be aware that's 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 hundred months, right? If you divide hundred by twelve, you're going to get eight remainder four. So in approximately eight years and four months, the the town dump will reach full capacity which is sort of bad news <laughs> if we don't want uh, trash just spewing all over in the city, right? So basically our town has eight years to come up and implement a plan to fix the, the, the garbage situation on whatever that, whatever that is. And so we can use linear growth to model this type and mo model and solve this story problem here. And the critical thing here is that we use the linear model because constant growth is linear growth. The two things are one and the same thing.